today, what we're going to do is we're in Dentdale and we're going to head up the Dales Highway, a nice okay. wide bridle path down here, up to um, uh, the Boot of the Wold, the fantastically named Boot of the Wold. So it's a steep climb there, but on a good bridle way. And then we'll leave, go onto a, go onto okay. a full path at the Boot of the Wold and take to the slopes of Wormside direct. Ah, uh, these are the tarns that Andrew was saying about to go driving over. Yeah, there's three yeah. lovely tarns, each sometimes four, depending how wet it is. <laughs> okay. And then a final climb up to the summit. It's to this side of the boundary wall, so we keep to the west of the boundary wall, and that will take us up to um, the summit. The big crowds that normally go up Wormside right. are on the on east side, side yeah. but the, the, the slopes, the grassy slopes on the west side, and there is a little track that follows all the way up to the summit, so if we don't ever go over to the other summit, it should be fine. Brilliant. So let's see how we get on. It's around about three miles to the top. I'm quite excited. Good. Come on then. Let's get Watch going. Watch your tools. One of the joys of being here is, of course, that you can wander off anywhere. We'll miss the family in the tarns earlier, but it's superb to see a bunch of, bunch of kids having a swim in the tarns, nobody else around, safe as houses on the hillside. Just really good of the parents to get there, but lovely for, lovely for the kids. The three tarns on Wormside are one of the best places to just visit, easy to get to away from the crowds and very enjoyable. From there to, to the right it comes to Ribblehead and obviously the viaduct 